Welcome back, Sethling here. Last week I posted a video about a piston tape memory that has three states per cell rather than two. This one has four, so uh, it's called quaternary. So if you look, the piston tape, as I push the button, the tape goes around, um, and each time I push it, uh, a signal comes out on either the yellow wire here, the, the gray wire, or the green wire, or none of them at all. In this case, it's none of them. If I push the button, I get, oh, same thing, it's also off. Uh, push it again, I get gray. Here's green. And here's yellow. So there's four different states, and this time the four different states are represented by pistons facing three directions, or a glass, which just doesn't do anything. Um, this was this was brought to you by a suggestion from the Red Melon YouTube user. Um, he had a great idea to try and use pistons to to add additional states to the piston tape. Um, so this is what I threw together after I, reading his suggestion. Um, so essentially, there's there's three different piston states and the glass state. Uh, if the piston pushes to the side like this, it connects uh, connects the circuit in the yellow wire. If it pushes down, um, what we get is it connects the same sort of circuit on the green wire. If it's glass, no circuits are connected, so there's no output here. And then if it pushes up, it, uh, it pushes up a fence which lifts the boat off of the pressure plate. The reason I didn't have the same sort of circuit as the yellow or green wires is that if the block directly above the sticky piston was powered, it wouldn't retract, so it would cause the whole circuit to break, the whole piston tape to break. So there are four states, and uh, they all fit into a single piston tape. Obviously, all of the mechanism to, to cause the piston tape to, to loop and to read all the outputs is much bigger than necessary. Uh, I just wanted to throw something together to show you kind of a proof of concept. This can all be made much more compact, but it's kind of a neat idea, um, thanks to the Red Melon, and I wonder if anyone can come up with something with a higher memory density. I think it's probably possible, but uh, this is what I've got, so thanks for watching.